For years, we've heard that Apple are working on a diabetes glucose sensor for the Apple Watch. However, will we see it come to the Apple Watch Series 9 this year? Well, today I want to give you all the details about this if this sensor is coming this year. And also I want to give you the latest on the Apple Watch Series 9's release date and price too. So for everyone who watches my videos, or even if you are new here, in these videos, I'm going to give you the latest details or specific leaks and reports, then details of the planned release date and time, then a summary of the models, what are going to be released with all their features that we've learned in previous leaks. So with three watches launched in 2022, so the Series 8, the SE2 and the Apple Watch Ultra, we're now getting closer to the launch of the 2023 models, including the Apple Watch Series series 9. After this, I'm also going to reveal my wish list of something I would love to see in the Apple Watch Series 9. And also at the same time as well, guys, put down in the comments below of what features you would love to see in the Apple Watch Series 9 too. So, reflecting back on the Series 8, unfortunately, it didn't really have that many upgrades over the Series 7. However, let's see what the Series 9 is going to bring us this year and let's see if we are going to be getting that brand new glucose sensor being added to the watch for the first time in 2023. So it is great news for everyone who's wishing for a diabetes glucose monitoring sensor to come to the Apple Watch. Ideas have floated around and some companies out there have even made this a reality now. We have sensors like the Freestyle Libra 2 sensor that sticks to your arm and then all you need to do is reach around with your iPhone using Bluetooth and you can get a reading to see how your glucose levels are doing. This technology shows us that it's possible that we can have a digital reading without having to re-prick ourselves a few times a day. We have also been told that Apple are doing very well here and that they have made a proof of concept with the Apple Watch to find out your sugar levels are in your blood via the Apple Watch. However, there are some more time needed before this is rolled out to all Apple Watches. So I think from this, there's the good and there's the bad news. The good news is there is technology out there what allows us to do this and Apple have grabbed hold of this and working on this right now that they actually want to have that glucose monitoring sugar diabetes sort of sensor on their Apple Watch. And as I've said already, they have got a proof of concept that they are working on and it does look likely it is going to be coming out to the Apple Watch soon. However, from this though, I don't think it's going to be coming to the Series 9 this year, unfortunately. And we may have to wait another year or two before it actually comes out on our wrists and it can monitor our sugar in our blood. Something else though, I would say though, it doesn't mean that this is also coming to the Apple Watch Ultra 2 either. And talking about the Apple Watch Ultra 2, if you're wondering why I'm not talking about that today, this is going to be in another video. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because I'll be making a video about the Apple Watch Ultra 2 very soon. This also leads me on nicely to say that all reports and leaks are not 100% proof that they will come true with the new Apple Watch 9. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. However, if you're watching this video still, then you're curious as I'm in knowing what is being a setup at the next Apple Watch anyway. So moving on, let's talk about the release date. So for the release date, it looks like that the plans for the Apple Watch 9 might be a bit different this year. In past years, Apple has announced the Apple Watch alongside the iPhone with two devices available for purchase around the same time. Again, this happened with the iPhone 14, where we had an event for this mainly solely around this device but we also got the brand new Apple Watch Series 8, the SE2 and also that brand new Apple Watch Ultra. But for the Series 9 release date, well as mentioned before, if we do get a Series 9 in 2023, we're looking towards the iPhone 15's announcement as inspiration, as most links have dropped out when the iPhone 15 will be available. Apple tend to do an event for the iPhone 15 on the nearest Tuesday to the middle of the September month. So right now in September, the middle kind of Tuesday is September the 12th. However, Apple sometimes also do their events a week before or week after after this day so it's possible that we could actually see the event on September the 5th or even September 19th too. After this Apple normally actually launched the product into our hands around about 7 to 10 days later. 
So based on this time, we're expecting for the Apple Watch Series 9 to have a very similar release date if it comes in 2023. So just quickly guys, one thing you may know about my channel if you've been around here for a while or if you're brand new here, let me tell you something. I love to do giveaways on this channel. I love to give something back to you guys because I talk about all this brand new Apple stuff and some of you guys just can't afford to get your hands on it. So I love to give some of it away to you guys or give you the opportunity to maybe get your hands on it. And that's what we're doing right now. And in fact, at the end of September time, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for these three prizes and three lucky people are going to win these prizes. So one prize per each person. And let me go through each of these prizes. The first one is going to be this. It's going to be AirPods Pro. I'm going to be giving away this to one lucky person. Then after that, I've also got here the Apple Watch S. E. And I'm also going to be giving this away to one lucky person too. And then finally, as you can see here, the grand prize, we have here an Apple Watch Ultra. I will also be giving away to one lucky person on this channel. And all you have to do to enter in, you can be anywhere in the world. So it's an international giveaway. It's just put down in the comments below of what Apple gear, what technology gear you're planning to buy in 2023. Put it down in the comments below. And also make sure if you are brand new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because when I'll be doing the announcement of the giveaway, you won't want to miss out on that because it will be a live stream around about the end of September time. Now, just quickly guys, one last thing. I do want to say there are lots of scammers and spammers out there, a lot of them impersonating me, telling you to WhatsApp them, Telegram them, part with your money for shipping and things like this. This is not me. You've heard it from me right now. I will be paying for all the shipping and taxes like this. Do not part with any of your money. So with the latest details about the release day and the latest information about leaks out of the way, let's now talk about a summary of everything we know so far for the Apple Watch Series 9. And also let's talk about those prices too. So again, for the Apple Watch Series 9, for the design wise, the actual screen sizes this time round will be the same as last time. So we're talking about a 41 and a 45 millimeter screen. And also this will be again an LTPO OLED screen that we've had in previous generations of the Apple Watch. So this brightness on this display will go up to a thousand nits brightness, which is really, really good on bright sunny days. We will also still get 32 gigabytes of storage built in side to both of these Apple watches depending if you pick on the 41 or 45 millimeter display and we also will be getting the brand new S9 chipset inside it so this will be the latest generation of it and we could also be seeing the brand new U2 ultra wideband chipset also put inside the Apple watch so this just helps that if we do lose your Apple watch or misplace it somewhere you'll be able to find it in the find me app and also that the watch might be able to make a little bit of a sound to help you find it also there'll be Bluetooth 5.3 inside it and if you pick the cellular option you also get 4G connectivity built right inside to the Apple watch we also also have heard rumors that we could be getting a glucose monitoring sensor so more news will be coming out about this and this will be to monitor your glucose levels in you so this will be really really handy if apple do introduce this feature and also the actual watches they'll be made out of aluminum or aluminium if you're here in the uk stainless steel and also a titanium body we've also heard that there's a possibility that touch id is coming to the standby button on the side of the apple watch and this button will be very similar to what we have like on say for example the 10th generation iPad and also the iPad Air and also the iPad Mini 2 so Apple could adapt this quite easily. For battery life we're expecting an all day battery life again up to 36 hours if you use that low power mode that was introduced in 2022 and also at the same time you will be able to still charge it up by using that sort of MagSafe charger with a USB-C charging port end. For prices wise though prices were likely stick to the way they've been already so for the 41 millimeter 32 gigabyte option just the standard one bluetooth version it'll cost you 399 us dollars but if you went for the cellular version it'll cost you 499 us dollars but then if you went for the bigger face the slightly bigger model it would again it'd be the 32 gigabyte option costing you 429 us dollars and then again if you pick that cellular version of the 4g connectivity it'll be 529 
US dollars. So that is a summary of the brand new Apple Watch Series 9. But let me tell you about my wish I would love to see in the Apple Watch Series 9. Well, my wish is actually to do with selfie camera in the Apple Watch or even a small 720p sort of camera inside it. The reason why I think you should have this is because at the end of the day, you can take Apple Watch out and about and you can actually take phone calls on it. And you do have to sort of lift your arm up to your face, as it were, to talk into it. So to me, it makes sense to put actually a sort of selfie camera inside the watch too. Or even if you're sitting or lying down at the moment, for example, with an iPhone and you don't really have to hold it in your hands so you know you can just basically lift up your arm to it and you can just see the camera inside maybe apple in a way could sort of angle the camera slightly so you wouldn't have to completely tilt your wrist round but anyway those are my thoughts and let me know if you agree with this as well if you'd like to see a feature like this and plus i'd love to know what you'd love to see in the new series 9 so make sure you put them down in the comments and with that guys it's also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button and also at the same time as well if you want to hear the latest apple news including the apple watch ultra and also comparison comparisons and reviews make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell until next time guys i will see you really soon take care bye bye